Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. So today I thought we could take a look at the topic. What lessons have you learned? Now let's see, I think learned with a T is UK English and learned is US English. So modify it for whichever one you like. I think in the in the description I'll put learnt with a T. I've been contemplating this topic about learning lessons because I think it's really interesting because I have been looking at my life and I think have I like with certain things I think have I learnt the lesson and then I start contemplating what does it mean to learn a lesson and as I was contemplating that I think I kind of got a bit lost and so I looked up the Cambridge Dictionary. I've got that in front of me. I'll put it on the screen as well. It says here, learn a or your lesson. It says here to suffer a bad experience and know not to do it again. And I thought, yeah, I think that that's the common result from all the experiences of when, when I have learnt my lesson, because sometimes I have actually learnt my lesson. And when you've learnt your lesson, I think the whole thing dissolves and it goes away and it doesn't come back. But what's key to that is not the lesson going away, but it's me not doing a certain thing, right? So that's why the lesson goes away. It is actually connected to me. It's not just some random event out there, but I just thought this could be fun to contemplate. And I thought we would, we'd focus it more positively. We'll take a look at what lessons have you learned. So we'll see if that comes up. Uh, but it could be that the cards reflect what lessons are you learning. It could reflect what you need to learn. I don't know. I, I don't know how this is going to pan out. Let's see. Let's go on an adventure here. That's what I thought. We could go on this adventure together and see what happens. So group number one, you have got this really pretty, this is called laser quartz. And I love it because it's... Um, I don't know, it's kind of sharp looking, isn't it? And just, I just like it. So yeah, I thought that'd be group number one, laser quartz, and then group number two. Now, hopefully I've got this right. I think it's some kind of Amazonite, but again, you can let me know. It's just a small stone and I used a bit of resin and I fashioned this little thing there so I could wear it on a necklace. So that's group two. And group three, this is orange calcite here. So feel free, guys, to choose your group. And I look forward to seeing you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this beautiful laser quartz crystal then you are in the right place Let's see where should we put that maybe up there maybe there there we go oh, there's a lot of clarity in that stone so i thought that could be for you group number one and we're going to take a look at the topic what lessons have you learned this could also pan out to be what lessons are you learning right now or what do you need to learn to go forward? I'm not sure actually how this is going to play out. It's interesting I've drawn one there because normally I like to start with, I like to do tarot later. Let's start with these oracle type cards first. And then we will, so we do the big cards first and then we do the little cards on top. <laughs> All right. Take that one. We'll take one of these. I've got the inner child deck today. Love this. I'm still yet to sit on the couch and read the guidebook for this one. I have not done that yet. There's just been too many other things going on. All right. Let's get one of these. And 
Yeah. And one of these. And then we'll have a look and get some tarot to clarify. Oh, that's sticking out. Let's. Oh, all right. Archangel Michael. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Because look at that. I mean, could those two objects <laughs> look a bit more similar? It's like this has come to life because this does look like a sword, doesn't it? The sword of truth. Maybe you're learning to wield the sword of truth. Okay, well, that's something you're learning. There we go. So lessons are being learnt right now. <laughs> um, let me move these out of the way and try to get organized. Oh, there we go. All right, and let's get organized here too. So it'd be great if all these just looked good. Right. Well, let's just let's just start. I'll arrange them as I go. Okay. So we've got sin and karma conspiracy. We've got a number forty-three there. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Have a look at all of these. Ooh, alchemy. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the colors. Gosh, I love this. This is wonderful. And little stars. Oh, this is so nice. Number eight. All right, seven, eight. Okay, so it's like there's a progression here, which is good. We've got the sword of truth here. Right. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. Ooh, making a choice. Mmm, yeah, it can be hard to make a decision. Especially if you're up in your mind a lot, it can be near impossible to make any form of decision, isn't it? So I think like clarity, right? You, you need clarity in your life. So, okay, we'll take a look at that. You've got a number three there. What's this? Wow, nine of wands. Yeah, okay. So this is, this is some kind of burden. And you see the next card after this is the ten of wands. That's like... You can't have any more burden than that, the Ten of Wands. But this is the Nine of Wands, where you're still not there yet. But you're still not where yet. Okay, let's see. Let's get into this. You've also got Archangel Michael here. Now, Archangel Michael, he's brilliant to have around because he's got that dark blue color, though he's not really depicted with too much dark blue in this image here but he normally has a lot a big dark blue cape he protects he'll protect you during times of change and transition he's very much about the truth sin and karma all right let's take a look let's see if we can understand more of what's going on here I want to get a clarifier on sin and karma. Five of Cups. So there's some form of heartbreak here. Okay. It's really interesting in this alchemy card, we've got these two, these two, I suppose they look like giraffes to me, but they're kissing, right? We've got that little girl there, it's her wish maybe, okay, because we've got some heartbreak here. So maybe you are deciding Maybe you're deciding whether or not to stay with someone. All right, so let's see what other deck do I want to use. I want to use this one. 
let's hmm. see even I'm confused right now like as to which of these I want to clarify on do you know what let's make it simple the, I think this thing is demanding simplicity right look let's see here simplicity clarity so let's be really 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 simple and let's be fair let's just draw one tarot card from this deck for all of these and we'll uncover them all at once okay so let's just do that I won't get too creative here because I think simplicity is what's needed we're also looking at what are you learning I think you're, I think you're learning how to make a choice because I think making this choice is a burden and you're possibly looking for signs. Okay, that's why people will go on a tarot reading because they want a sign. They want, okay, well, what do I do? Do I take this road? Do I take that road? And when I've been in these great big dilemmas, Caroline Mace, she, she's a teacher I keep coming back to. She says, this did help me a lot at one time. She said, it doesn't matter what path you choose because they're all going to take you to the same destination. To me, I found that advice helpful one time when I was trying to figure out what to do. So when it comes to this making a choice, what do you do? Because when it's up to you and you have to choose, that can be really hard. Another bit of advice I got from Ali Abdul was he said, if it's not a hell yes, then it's a no. So that has helped me as well um, but then yeah let's let's see what the cards have here so we've got we've clearly got a situation of heartbreak you might be feeling heartbroken you might be feeling because we've got sin and karma here it's like you might be feeling responsible for the heartbreak as well um, or you might be feeling responsible for these negative feelings if if you have some some feelings that you know that keep coming back up right let's have a look seven of swords all right so alchemy seven of swords interesting okay let's keep going here We've also got a lot of this green. So this is to do with the heart. This is to do with love, I do think, making a choice. And I think this could be to do with making a choice between... This is what I'm getting because we've got heartbreak here. I think this is a choice about do I stay with this person or do I go and be alone? I think that's what the choice is. And that's what the choice should be. A choice like this shouldn't be like a choice between do I go for this person or that person no if you're exiting a relationship exit that relationship to be alone don't exit it to go and be with someone else immediately that's that's not a well from what I know <laughs> and what I've learned and studied and it's 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 a good thing to be in your your own energy for a while before you decide to have a new relationship Let's have a look here. King of Wands. Okay. Right. And that's come here with making a choice. See, and I think this is what you want. I think you want to be making a choice like how this guy would because King of Wands is confident. He is at the top of his game. He's creative. Look, we've got a lion here. Like, he, does the lion dilly dally? No, he doesn't. He just goes. He's just like, right, I want that thing. I'm going for that thing. That's it. Like, <laughs> the lion has no doubt. The lion just, you know, they want something. They go for it, right? So I think that's who and what you want to be like. Maybe you're frustrated with yourself that you're not being like this but let's see what what's here with this frustration all right yeah I think because the Hierophant can be like a commitment I think perhaps in your heart of hearts you want a commitment 
with someone as, as well. We can see her wishing for, you now what's she wishing for? She's wishing for this. She's wishing for some loving, beautiful thing in her life, right? And I think that's what you, you want to create stability and harmony in your life. Yeah. Uh, all right, the moon. But yeah, you're hiding and you're not telling the truth, okay? Because and the reason I'm saying that and I'm not wanting to be, you know, hard on you, but I am kind of being hard on you here, right? So it's like, yeah, your true genuine feelings are hidden, okay? The moon, that's come up here with, and I, I did call this the sword of truth, didn't I? And we've got that, you know, uh, laser quartz there as well. And we've got this hidden seven of swords. You know, perhaps you're, perhaps, so this could be a couple of things. I mean, perhaps you're not being fully honest, possibly. Uh, the other thing is that maybe you've been lied to and cheated on and stolen from and all that kind of thing, right? So... Yeah, so this is, this is quite interesting. All right, so let's get some more clarification here. What do I want to... Let's, let's take one of these. Oh, no, yeah, we'll take one of these. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Is this looking... Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> Get it all neat. Why not? I'm also providing some space in which you can just take all of this in. <laughs> okay. Now let's see what else do we want to look at. I think let's let's go here and let's. Because mm, I was going to say let's assume you get into king of wands mode and you pick a path and I'm going to suggest that you pick a path to go it alone all right let's let's shuffle on go it alone all right and this is alone alone this is I'm going to do my own thing for at least like a couple of years or something you know and I just I just did a video about that about uh, Munglik and I talked about you know if you're leaving a relationship what did I talk about there I said something like it's good to just be on your own for at least a year or two or even a satin transit if you can because then you have time to heal and be yourself and all that kind of thing so let's say you you get out of this difficult situation that you're in you take the path of i want to be independent i want to be alone this could be you leaving a job as well okay um i mean it is pretty clear that we're dealing with some sort of heart issue here but this could be leaving a job so there's something where you're leaving and you are deciding to go it alone Oh, it's in reverse. And I think I want to take it in reverse as well. So let's do that. This is the five of swords in reverse. And I think you doing that, you striking out on your own will save you from a whole lot of conflict is what I'm seeing there. This reminds me, the, the, the phrase striking out on your own. The last time I heard that was when I was watching Martha Stewart talk about how she was, I think she was, was she working for a magazine or she was working for something and she decided, she did a huge gamble and she decided I'm going to create my own organization or something like that and it, it, she had like, I don't know, the huge sums of money riding on it and it was all a big deal. 
And she said, I decided to strike out on my own. And it was the best thing she ever did, you know. Okay, let's dig into this. Let's say you strike out on your own. Let's go down this path. You strike out on your own. And this doesn't mean, this doesn't have to look like, like what if this is you needing to leave home? You know, um, you live with your parents and you, you need to leave home or something like that. This doesn't necessarily, so you changing your life it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got to pack up all your physical belongings and get out of there tomorrow. No, you leaving the place where you are, it starts in the mind first, right? So, so you're striking out on your own. You might physically still be in the place where you are. That's fine. And same with your job. You might physically still be in the job. Whatever it is, you're physically still where you are. And yet you're striking out. So let's keep going with this striking out energy and we'll see what that is. All right, we'll see what this is first. Rahu in the fourth. Okay. Keeps few friends. Has foreign born mother or stepmother. Patriot. Can't concentrate on just one thing. Might frequently move house. Move. Yeah, it's interesting. I was just talking about moving out of out of the home. Um, so moving out of home, it actually begins in the mind and we can't, you know, mind really is third house here as well, but we can see this is a subconscious house too. So this is in your thoughts and feelings and there's something about you moving out of the situation that you are in. And I feel like that's going to be good for you. But it doesn't mean that physically you're leaving or no, it doesn't it doesn't mean that. That may happen later. All right, this came out. Wow, Saturn in the fourth. All right. So I, I do think this is to do with home. Disciplined mother, values home, lethargic, trouble with inheritance, solid education, excels in leadership, medicine law, success in foreign lands. Yeah, look at that. You've got these tough energies in your home space and that is showing that your happiness actually probably lies elsewhere maybe you need to travel maybe you need to relocate maybe you need to switch jobs maybe you need to be in a different relationship it's kind of like maybe that time has come where because it kind of feels like wherever you are isn't bringing you isn't bringing you much joy so in terms of what lessons have you learned I think this is more of a spread of what lessons are you learning and I think you're learning how to be the king of wands that's what you're doing you're learning how to be decisive and this king of wands guy but when it comes to your home and there's something about home life where perhaps you're stuck perhaps you're not able to tell the truth you're not able to be your authentic self there's all this kind of thing and I think all of this situation it is causing upset feelings within you but just allow the feelings, allow the feelings. You are going to be this King of Wands guy because that's what you are deep down, right? And we've brought him to the surface more. But it's like this is, this is a training ground. And that's what my dad always used to say whenever the going was tough. He'd say, this is your training ground. So you are getting strong in how to be your authentic self. It's an important time that you're in group number one. So don't, uh, let's see, don't what? Don't, like be with it, you know, be with it. Don't run away, I kind of want to say as well. It's kind of like if you're leaving, you'll leave in a, in a good way. 
kind of thing and like it'll naturally happen like you don't need to force anything is what I want to say here oh wow look at this cowboy wisdom don't go don't go in if you don't know the way out I love that phrase yeah yeah and that's like with a marriage or anything isn't it it's like that's what I tend to think don't go in if you don't know the way out yeah 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 if you get a bit sort of claustrophobic and stuff like this can be yeah I know it's hard but I think you look I think you are I think yeah this is about the way out isn't it because we just talked about yeah, you're in some relationship or you're going to go out you're going to go out to be independent right you're not going to go out to be in someone else's home that would be awful because you're just going to feel stuck again all right let's have a look now we've got more cowboy wisdom you a lot of cowboy stuff coming here today never drive black cattle in the dark wow cowboy wisdom i like that one yeah that's good yeah that's the moon and it's the fourth house as well that's that's night that's midnight here isn't it right we've got the midday sun here in the 10th we've got midnight here never drive black cattle in the dark yes love that and i remember when i wrote this one there was some profound thing that i've now forgotten i should have written that down as well because I, th I th this was very clever this is very eighth house yes that's what okay eighth house triggered it eighth house is the deepest darkest place we've got here and basically yeah that is the house of stop right why is that the house of stop it's because of this scorpio you got to stop never drive black cattle in the dark and what do you have to do you have to stop and you have to wait and what are you waiting for you're waiting for the dawn you're waiting for light and when there's light you will see with precision you'll know how to be this king of wands i think you're in low light conditions right now i think there isn't much that you can do so i would say wait it out wait for the dawn to come group number one i hope this has been a good reading for you let me know how you got on in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two or this beautiful crystal, then you are in the right place. Pretty sure that's Amazonite. Not, a, I think it's like African Amazonite something. I'm not 100% sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. It's got a turquoise kind of thing. So maybe there's some expression or something like that. Don't know. We'll take one of these, but then we will also take, let's have a look, these oracle cards. I do like to start with the bigger cards first, just get a sort of general sense as to what's going on. So we're going to look at what, that's come out pretty smoothly. Uh, what are you learning? What lessons have you learned? And all that kind of thing. Yeah, the other day I was just thinking about like this, what lessons have I learned? But just even what does it mean to learn a lesson? And my mind was just like suspended in that. Like I couldn't, and I couldn't go past it. I was like, what does it mean to learn a lesson? And I was thinking, I've got to do a tarot spread on this concept. I think it's really interesting this thing of what yeah how how do we because i feel like i'm spending decades on certain things i'm still not learning the lesson <laughs> it's like gosh could this could this just go a bit faster <laughs> could life just happen a bit more quickly or something i don't know but then see then i think about things going more quickly and i think oh no definitely don't want it to go any quicker i'm exhausted with what i've already got going on which is not a lot so well it doesn't feel like a lot i don't know all right <laughs> let's take one of these let's see what's happening for you group number two you've always got you're always a powerful spread powerful group if there are any regulars here let's have a look oh wonderful look at that empowerment healing 
Wow, well, I think you are learning very well and I'm trying to figure out, no, I don't, I see, I think she's got this kind of um, sparkly fairy dust or something in her apron, is that what's going on? Because at first I thought, is that a bottle of champagne? I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Well, anyway, this whole thing has a celebratory feel to it and all these stars, this beautiful, I don't know, like light coming from what looks like an apron, I think. Maybe she's, well, an apron is a great sign. That's, she's creative. Okay. She's like a, it's funny because I was reading about, was it Sylvia Plath who used to bake a lot? Anyway. <laughs> Oh, boundary. Okay. And let's see what these little ones are doing. Where are they? How cute. They're hanging out. Great colors. Boundary. What are these two doing? Three. Okay. That's nice. Boundary, though. Mm. <laughs> What's going on here? One ring circus. Okay. I've got an elephant and a lady looking. One ring circus. Right. Miracles. Yeah, there is something special going on in here. Like there's something, there's some very enlightened, bright, profound energy, but at the same time, I'm def definitely digging into these two. Okay, we'll see what's in that as well. Four of Pentacles, interesting. Okay. What lessons have you learnt or what are you learning? I'm kind of getting just off the back of this. I'm getting, this is really, it feels like to do with sort of high end spiritual development. And I think you're learning a lot about how to handle a lot more light and a lot more spiritual power i think you're 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 being trained in how to handle a lot more spiritual power for the work that you are going to do and i think but the, i'm going to read this as desire because like there's a holding on here and boundaries as well But you need to know these energies. Like you need to know the earth. You need to know the world. You need to know this earthly plane. You need to know what's here and how this works. And you do need to make money. And you do need to do the earthly stuff. It's important. I'm not getting a sense that... That you are doing anything wrong or that you shouldn't have desire or no I'm not getting that sense I'm getting the sense that you need all of that too in order to be on the earth plane so I understand boundary I understand four of pentacles this I don't understand so <laughs> let's take a look there let's see let's shuffle and try to see what on earth does this mean one ring circus Hmm, one ring circus. So we've got that ancient elephant statue. It's like some ancient wisdom or something, but one ring circus. One ring. See, and again, we've got the word one there, the all is one. Like this is a very highly spiritual group that we have here today. One ring circus. 
Let's take two. Let's take another one from a different deck. Yeah. Try and shuffle properly. One ring circus and I'm getting two cards. Hmm. <laughs> well, one from each different deck. All right, let's see. Knight of Swords. He's going up. She's in the sky. Walking away. I'm going to take this upright. Because, yeah, you're going to the mountain. This is... But you're going up, you're ascending. So it's like, I feel like this group is about... I think you've learnt so much. What have you learnt in the past? I think you've learnt so much that the, the divine is wanting to train you even further, even higher. She's in a really high place. She can see so much. And this is also, this is very Pisces, my goodness, this. Look at that image. Whenever I think of Pisces, I think of like an ocean and you just, you're, you're in the middle of it and everywhere you look, you cannot see any land. That's how I see Pisces. Like the ocean is so vast that there is no land anywhere. But yet, look at that. It's like she's at this incredible height because Pisces is the all is one. And it's like by the time, let's say you've clocked up a Ketu in Pisces, you have done virtually the entire zodiac through all your past lifetimes. Like to clock up, a Ketu in Pisces, that's pretty amazing. And other placements as well. I always tend to think Pisces people are really amazing. I don't have that much Pisces, by the way. <laughs> that's why I, I always look up to Pisces people. Um, but I do run some collective energies. But yeah, I mean, I think you're being like trained at a, at a higher level so you are learning more and what I feel is that just keep going keep going keep growing you're going up I feel like your guides want to train you so it's like they're kind of saying yeah like you're meant to go to the mountain and going to the mountain you go alone and it's hard and there's training and you, you may have to climb the mountain, but this is all very good, okay, because, because you're going to be trained in how to wield the best, the very best, highest top energies in the universe. And really the best energy to work with is, is love. That's the ultimate. Wow. Okay, well, let's, what else do I want to clarify here? Do you know, I might take one of these. Um, I didn't take any of these for the last group. Let's, let's take one. Wow, have confidence in your creations. Yeah. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. Yes, yeah, I really get a strong sense. The divine wants to work through you more. Okay, and I think this is wonderful. And I think it's because you have learnt the earthly plane that the divine wants to work through you even more. It's like now it's your time to learn more about high end spirituality, higher energies, uh, how to express that through your fifth chakra as well, right? How to teach others, how to guide others, how to lead others. But there's some mountain time, there's some kind of training. But have confidence in your creations. We will take a little look at what have you mastered in the 3D. I'm interested in that. Let's see. So which ones am I going to... I'll take more from here. Okay. Interesting on the bottom of the deck here. Love. 
See, it's like you are going to work with this energy more and more and more. And you're going to spread love through the world, through your work. Let's take a look at what you have mastered in the 3D earthly realm. I'll draw one for this and one for this. Okay, that one there. Well, that's poking out. Let's take it. All right. So boundary. Wow, yeah, you've been through it. You've mastered this. How to stand up after this. Wow, far out. Gosh. See, it's a true compliment to receive this card in the context of this, what I've just asked. <laughs> you know, it's like if I'd have asked, what's coming up? This would not be a good card. <laughs> but I've asked, what have you mastered? Look at that. You don't need to do this anymore. You've done it. You know, and that is incredible. This is a little bit sort of, yeah, wounded healer type stuff here. What else have you mastered? It's like, and the other thing is, that if you encounter it again, see, and this is very Byron Katie. Byron Katie says that, well, I, I welcome the next time it comes, you know, because you know not to be shaken by it. You know it's just illusion. You know that the next time they come at you, it's like there's, there's no drama in you. There's nothing for them to cling on to. So they can try. They can, you know, throw their knives and stick them in you, but you'll just be like, hey, that's what you're doing. And you know you're fine. You know that them doing that is bad for their karma, you know. And you know ultimately you're always fine. That they can't do anything to you. You've learnt your boundaries. You've done you you are, you have done some serious soul work here. It's very good. Yeah, look at that. You're satisfied. You're happy. You know. Yes. See, this is the thing. Nine of Cups, which is self satisfaction. And one thing I, I do love, now that I think about this, like the nines is always, they're always alone. So the nine of cups, you're happy on your own. The nine of pentacles, you're financially abundant, but again, you're happy on your own, right? And like that's before the 10 of cups, which is like the height of happiness with everyone else. And what is it? 10 of pentacles. Yeah. Which always has like a family and you're happy with everyone else. But the thing is to achieve the 10 of cups, you have to be happy on your own first. So that's why this is a bit of a by yourself kind of a reading. Yeah, because I think that like, it feels like you have some time possibly before you, um, if you want to have a family or find a perfect partner or whatever, you will. But it's like, I think you're enjoying this right now. I think you're enjoying being on your own right now. If you're in a um, partnership, that's fine too, because this is showing that you, you know how to get here. You know how to get yourself happy by yourself. You know how to do that. That is essential. Everybody needs to know how to do that. Everybody needs to know in life how to become happy on their own without needing drugs, people, shopping, chocolate, <laughs> cake. <laughs> mango smoothies <laughs> right whatever it is right so yeah I did have a mango smoothie today it was very good all right now let's have a look shall we I mean this is just such a great spread guys I, I don't feel like I can add too much or I need to add too much here I think this is just elegant and beautiful as it is I think we can dip in for some wisdom we had cowboy wisdom earlier uh, let's have a look and see what comes here. But I think you guys are in a terrific place. I think you have learned a huge amount, right? I think you've learned everything you need to from, you know, the 3D material world. And I think now it's your time to engage in the higher spiritual 
dimensions study work with your guides they will train you they will teach you personally you know how to become happy on your own I mean we could ask is there something that you're still clinging to but I actually I don't see this card in that way I do see this as being desire but I think you're conscious of where your desires are and to get this card here I, I don't think there's a need to dig into that any further desire is an important energy we need to know how it operates um, but I don't think you're caught in that so no i think it's all looking quite good to me all right let's take a look let's see what's coming here great spread guys all right what have we got nope oh, is it gonna focus come on there we go commit to people but not to the extent that you make up for their lack of commitment teal swan yeah interesting i put a teal swan quote in there uh yeah, I like this quote. Commit to people, but not to the extent you make up for their lack of commitment. And another way of phrasing that is what Harriet Lerner calls overfunctioning, right? Sometimes we overfunction in relationships. You're probably quite the empath, extremely spiritual. You're working with high, fine, re refined energies. Um, you can, it's like you can do other people's homework for them. But like, why would you do that? And it's like, it's like that PhD student, like you're a PhD in maths or something. And, you know, maybe the person next to you is doing like a grade one assignment. And sure, you could just quickly answer all the questions there. But then that person next to you wouldn't learn. So let people around you be where they are. And that might be where this like desire and letting go it's like just we'll just let go let them be where they are okay so you don't do their homework for them you just uh, let them be where they are you let them learn their lessons right it's all about learning lessons this one yeah so this is wow this is a good spread to do this question all right let's have a look here so is if there is character ugliness becomes beauty if there is none beauty becomes ugliness oh i do like that yeah african wisdom that's so true that's so true i mean this is this is comedians isn't it all comedians you know they've got tons of character and they're really funny and they always get all the girls right <laughs> all the guys there are female comedians nowadays too so yeah that's a good quote I always see that there with comedians. And we've got another African wisdom one here. It says here, love is like a baby. It needs to be treated tenderly. That's so sweet. And that's so true. Yeah. And that's what you're being asked to do. It's interesting we had the, the flash of the Ace of Cups there because I think you are being called to work with the energy of love on a full-time basis now you know you've done the ten of swords you've done it heaps you probably mastered it across lifetimes and the time is now to just you know let that stuff go and start investing and putting all your energy into love into work that you love into things that you love to do into treating yourself with love into feeding yourself well as well you know yeah love is like a baby it needs to be treated tenderly yeah that's so sweet and treat yourself tenderly treat yourself really well you know that yeah is something that we is that we eventually come to learn to do group number two this has been a beautiful spread thank you so much for bringing your energy here this has been a great reading let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three or this lovely orange calcite chunk of stone, then you are in the right place. I've just upped the light on the camera here because the sun is setting. So I think this should be okay. Let's see how we go. 
Today I'm recording, yeah, at the end of the day, I was supposed to do this in the morning and I was exhausted, <laughs> I was really, really exhausted. So I didn't do it in the morning. Uh, but then eventually today, the sun did come out. I was, oh, I don't know, I was so tired. Whoops, instructions for the Vedic astrology deck. Okay. <laughs> We've seen it. We can put it away now. Instructions. Hmm. Maybe you're getting some instructions. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I was super tired in the morning and I thought, oh no, can I even do this today? That's how bad it was. And then, and then the sun came out and I was like, oh, and then I started thinking, oh no, I hope I'm not one of those people who is like... You know how some people, they need the sun energy, otherwise they're depressed, right? I was like, I hope I'm not becoming one of those because here in England, we don't get a lot of sun energy. <laughs> this could be an issue. Mind you, in Sydney, there wasn't that much either sometimes. It was actually, I mean, yeah, the last three years of weather there wasn't that good, but there were some lovely days. There is some nice weather there. All right, let's take a look. It's just a shame that there's something in the atmosphere there that I'm allergic to. I don't know what it is. I don't have nearly as many allergies here, which is so good. Okay, and one of these. I think that's everything. I think so, it doesn't matter. All the spreads are different anyway. All right, let's see what we've got. So group number three, what have you learned or what are you learning or you know, where are you at with all that? Ooh, holding on, conspiracy 23. Okay, so you've got number five here. It's a change number, it's a Mercury number. You might be thinking about something. Wow, oh, that's beautiful time. <gasps> Look at this. Wait, I hope it focuses. Come on, focus. No. There we go. Look at this. Wow. That's beautiful. And it's like a clock face or something and all the numbers are falling off. Cool. I like that. It's really giving me Saturn vibes. It's like maybe you want to go beyond time. You want to escape Saturn's outer orbit. And you can do that through meditation. It's when we suspend time. Goblins, okay. Interesting, we've had this before and you've got a number five here. Wow, five is quite the change number, isn't it? Oh yeah, there are the goblins too. Gosh. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting reading. <laughs> they all are. Self-acceptance, yeah. Maybe this is what you've come to learn over a long period of time. Maybe that's been a theme of your, some of your major lessons, life lessons, how to accept yourself. Not that the world does, not that like the world accepts you, no, it's that you accept you. Page of Cups, oh, that's sweet. Maybe you're learning to love. Maybe you're learning to love again. Maybe you're learning to love yourself. Wow. Well, the only thing that's puzzling to me here, really, I mean, it's really these two. What are you holding on to and what are the goblins? So let's see if we can figure some of that out. All right. What are you holding on to? Group number three. Okay. And 
What did the goblins? I'm going to be greedy. I want a lot of information. Let's get one from here as well for each of those. What are you holding on to? And what are the goblins? All right. Let's see. What do we look at first? Flip these two over at the same time. What are you holding on to? Queen of Coins and the High Priestess. Interesting. Do you know, I see these two as being very independent. You might be holding on to your independence. Mm, interesting. Okay. Good. <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> but let's 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 dig further and see what we we get here. What are the goblins? All right. Some fast-paced energy there, and the six of swords. Right. It's kind of like someone's in a rush, and maybe someone is leaving something behind. But how is that a goblin? Hmm, I've got time. Um, so we've also got self-acceptance. I feel like this is and it's also about love as well. Sometimes this card Yeah, and it is like a, a parent and a child type of thing. This is interesting. Okay, let's, I want to ask more questions. I've kind of got a half of an idea in my head, but I want to, because I feel like your worries are an illusion. And it's interesting, we've got time here. Because there is a speed issue, because this is a fast card. This eight of wands is always about, it's like, it's always a rush energy with that. It's like you're enjoying your independence. You're also possibly enjoying a slow speed of life, right? Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles is slow energy. So you're possibly enjoying a slow speed of life you're possibly enjoying independence or doing your own thing and I think one of the things you're worried about at this time is let's find out a bit more here I'll take from here yeah what are you worried about because it's like that's what we do with a goblin or a demon or something we consider that's bad, right? We, we worry about it. We're like, oh God, I don't, want, I don't want bad things coming into my life or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. All right. So what are you worried about? You're worried about something. We'll also explore the whole what have you learned and all that thing as well. But I think you're learning self-acceptance. This will all tie in. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm reassuring myself there. <laughs> Sun in the seventh. Wow. Come on, let's, there we go. Few friends, yeah, difficult to get close to. Yeah, marriage delayed, loves foreign travel and foreign things. Spouse may be noble or questionable. Yes, spouse would be noble. If it was sun, if that was like sun in Leo by itself, sun, spouse would be very noble. But if you put Rahu in there as well, then you got someone who's a bit interesting. Um, but let's see. I think you m might be worried about, okay, I'm just going to say what I see here. I kind of feel like you're worried about maybe, let's say if you've been single for a long time and you're really very much enjoying that because there's a lot of self-acceptance here, 
I get the sense that because independence, right, self-acceptance, I think if you're single and you've been single for a long time, I think what your greatest worry would be is that someone's going to come in and mess up all of that niceness that you've got going on. I feel like it's something like that that is happening here for group number three. So that when we're looking at the context of what lessons have you learned, I think you've learned in terms of what you've learned, I think you've learned how to be on your own so well that you don't want, yeah, some incoming person who, and this person might be trying to get away from, because this six of swords is this person leaving, and what are they leaving? They're leaving five of swords. They're leaving conflict, right? So... You're worried about someone who, I don't know, yeah, maybe they've come out of some difficult relationship or something like that and they're trying to, they, they want to come and partner up with you, okay? We've got son in the seventh house of partnerships. We've got a page of cups here. So we do have new love here for you. Let's, let, well, let's find out what is this page of cups. Let's ask, okay, what, what's, what's the page of cups? Is it new love? Do you have new love on the horizon or something like that? Yeah, and you've probably been meditating and you know how to escape time and all that kind of thing, right? So I think you've learned a lot. I think you've learned how to be happy on your own. And now you're worried if somebody comes in, oh no, that's going to distort my peaceful life something like that I don't know all right so let's see page of cups what what's the page of cups why is that here and if this is not a relationship thing you can apply it to a job or new job or new request or new new project right new collaboration new partner new person there's some there's something about some other person coming in to the picture okay but we're going to explore what is this page of cups What is the Page of Cups? Why is the Page of Cups here? Let's keep shuffling. There's two that's taken. Wow, Justice and the Hanged Man. Hmm. Maybe you're worried that someone's coming in to settle a score or something as well. Because justice, I don't know, hanged man. Let's ask a bit more. I'm not sure what this page of cups is. Justice. Why is justice there? Why is hanged man, let's, let's just ask this whole thing, <laughs> page of cups, hanged man and justice. Four of coins, holding on, yeah. Okay. get one from here it's a page of cups what's that whole segment about all right good venus wow look at that exalted venus jeez well that's something you'd like to let into your life <laughs> that's a good card to get creative imagination artistically talented secret affairs loves isolation fantasy yes loves isolation so true can lose wealth if afflicted separation from partner is possible that's true no sight is weak mm. loves isolation 
But this is exalted Venus. It's kind of like the height of love. All right, well, we'll put that here. There's something grounded about you, though. It's kind of like, and I feel like you're not going to get swept up. Even if, like, the greatest thing in the world is, I don't know, dangled in front of you or whatever. I feel like, look, you're the Queen of Pentacles. You're grounded. And you're not going to, you've accepted yourself. You are going to look after yourself. So I feel like if something's coming in for you, explore it, you know? You can trust yourself. Can you trust yourself? Let's have a look. <laughs> we can ask anything here, but there is a time limit. But let's ask, can you trust yourself? Uh, what do we want to take? Self-acceptance. Let's have a look at self. Where are you when it comes to your self as a being? Can you trust yourself? Self-acceptance. How, how is this relationship that you have with yourself? It's interesting. We've got the fool here. New beginning of some kind. Self-acceptance. How good is this relationship that you have cultivated with yourself? Are you grounded? Would you, would you get swept away <laughs> by some new thing? You know, that's sometimes why people don't want fame. Because, or a great relationship, or something great. Because people have had to work so hard just to, I totally relate to this group three, you've had to work so hard just to get some form of stability or peace, you know. And you want to keep that going. Because it's like when you get to that get to that new place, it's like, oh, can I just enjoy this for a little bit? You know, I'm not, I'm not ready to, for more stuff. What's the relationship like with yourself? Wow, the devil. Far out. I wasn't expecting that. Wow, you're really in control of your own self. This is control. It can be addiction, but in the context of just you and yourself. It's like maybe you're so controlled that you can't let love in, you know? Let's have a look. That is possible, right? Jeez, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> good, good twist though, good plot twist. But it works, I can see it. I can see the story here because look at, look at this. It's kind of, I get it, yeah. It's like a bit of a, you know, Miss, Miss Perfect type situation. It's like, yeah, you, 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 or Mr. Perfect, whatever it is. Like, but there's some... You're holding on, because look at her, look at that. She's got this whole, she's looking in the mirror, you know. It's that whole princess type thing, isn't it? We've got high priestess, queen of pentacles, right? She's comfortable. She's happy being on her own. She doesn't need to speak to anyone. She's happy. She's holding on to this single lady sort of lifestyle I think that's what's going on there I mean that's what the cards are showing me <laughs> all right let's um let's get one more for but look at that all this self-acceptance is too much control and in that situation of just all this control you're not growing and where's the love that I do think wants to come in but Let's see what time is all about. What's going on there with time? We'll take one of these and then we'll get a couple of quotes. What's, what's the deal with time here? Why is that here? Because I think I, I think I get the sense with this card that it's like, I think you've mastered time because time is an illusion. So what, what, have you, what lessons have you learned? I think you've learned not to be time pressured, you see. Yeah, so let's, I think that's some, one of the things you've learned. All right, let's take a look at time. What's going on with time? 
Why did the time card show up? Oh, moon in the 10th. Let's check it out. Yeah, that th this is a moon vibe thing. It's sort of moon Saturn vibe here. Oh gosh, and this is moon Saturn because that's moon in the 10th house. So we've got moon in the 10th house, succeeds with ease, spiritual, wealthy, intelligent, confident, leadership style, nourishes others, cultured, honored, charitable, and brave. Wealth fluctuates. Yeah, but in the context of time, kind of get the sense that you're happy for things to go slowly because this is Sat moon in the 10th 10th is saturn built that house right so you're happy for things to go slowly also this is 10th house energy as well capricorn the devil hmm very interesting spread group number three. I think when we're looking at what lessons have you learned, I think you've learned how to be content and financially sufficient on your own to the point where it's actually not good for you and it's not allowing love to come in and I do think love wants to come in. That's what I've got going on here. I, th I think that's what this is. And I think you've learned as well not so much about how to go with the flow but I think you've learned how to suspend time and see it for what it is it's that it's an illusion all right let's see what's in here very interesting a diamond does not lose its value due to lack of admiration yeah yes that's the ageless timeless thing about you You've learned how to suspend time. Good. That's amazing. <laughs> so what have you learned? You've learned that. That's incredible. Um, okay. Between true, true friends, even water drunk together. So, oh, I love that. Yeah. This reminds me of um, that film Pretty in Pink. And the guy says to the girl something like, and then it's sitting in a barn or something and he says, oh, I could be in a Turkish prison and I'd still be happy being with you. <laughs> like, it's a bit corny, but yeah, it's this kind of thing. Venus in the 12th house. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? See, and that, so that is the beauty of letting love into your life, isn't it? Okay, well, what's this? And uh, we've got live a good honorable life then when you get older and think back you'll enjoy it a second time yeah cowboy wisdom that's good and that's also because when we apparently when we go to the other side i've watched lots of ndes near-death experiences and basically apparently we review the whole damn thing again so that's also what inspires me to live well or live it right the first time because yeah apparently we're gonna watch it all back so yeah i mean I don't know that for sure, but I do believe that. Those NDEs are incredible. The channel to watch, it's called Thanatos. Um, there's a German channel and they translate everything into English. It's really brilliant. Guys, I'm going to have to wrap up. It's 24 minutes. It's going to cut out soon, but thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.